Hello and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and welcome to what could be the hardest puzzle we've ever tried to solve live on the channel. This is Fistemafel's Chaos Construction, uh, which appeared on Logic Masters Germany a few weeks ago. It has a five star difficulty rating and then something like a 97% approval rating by the few people who have managed to solve it. Um, now our testers have looked at this and they, they say it's an incredible puzzle, an incredible puzzle. And for that reason, they say I should try and do it. Um, but they said to allow at least an hour. <laughs> so, so, you know, we're in lockdown. Hopefully everyone's got a bit more time. Um, and I'm going to try and do it for you today. Uh, before I start, let me just uh, a couple of things to mention on our community page on the YouTube channel. We've uploaded some uh, frequently asked questions and some submission guidance for those of you who want to send puzzles into the channel for consideration for a video. Um, so I hope, I hope that's useful. Um, what else did I want to mention? Our Thermo Sudoku, our new app. Um, the Steam page is now up. The app's not out, but the Steam page is up and it gives you a bit of a flavour for what to expect. Uh, it should be out. We hope the game will be launched in the next couple of weeks. Um, and apart from that, oh yeah, I wanted to mention the Miracle Sudoku. This is the video that appeared two days ago on the channel. It's been getting the most incredible feedback. Uh, this is Mitchell Lee's unbelievable, unbelievable puzzle, which just had a one and a two in the initial grid. Um, now, I would just want to appeal to you guys, if you have any social media, you can broadcast the existence of that puzzle and that video too. We'd really appreciate it. There's a chance that video could could hit a very wide audience and it definitely deserves to. Um, yeah, so if anyone can help, we'd really, really um, be grateful. Now, let me read you the rules of this puzzle. I have read these rules a couple of times to get them in my head. Um, the digits one to nine need to appear exactly once in each row, column and region. The regions need to be discovered. An arrow in a cell indicates that an uninterrupted sequence of exactly X cells in the direction of the arrow, beginning at the cell with the arrow, belong to the same area. X being the digit in the cell with the arrow. If there is another cell after the sequence of X cells in the direction of the arrow, then this must belong to a different area or different region. Not all arrows that would, would be possible with the shape of the regions are given. Now, Fistemafel kindly, look, he gave an example puzzle. Here it is. Um, so let's just spend a moment looking at this and trying to understand how these arrows work. So you can see basically what we're trying to do is to build an irregular Sudoku. And look at this four here. So this four is saying that in the region that the four is part of, the region extends one, two, three, four cells and then ends. So this cell has to be part of a different region. Okay. Okay. And ones are interesting, look, because they basically end the regions immediately. Ah, and that two is interesting as well, because it's that interestingly, there are three cells in this region that are part of this region in this direction. But the two is just saying the uninterrupted sequence is just one, two. So areas can bend round corners. Wow. Wow. This is going to be something of a challenge. I am massively looking forward to it. You know how much I'm a fan of Fist and Fell's puzzles. Um, uh, and if you want to have a go, click on the link under the video. With that, let's get cracking. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I think, is to try and, yeah, let's look at arrows that are close to the border. So that square can't be bigger than a two. That one can't be bigger than a three. That one can't be bigger than a three. That one is a one or a two. That one's a one, two, or a three. That one's a one or a two, gives a one, two pair. Oh, and a one, two pair in the column. Uh, maybe I should 
Maybe I should go to fours as well. Those two are both one, two, three, or four. That one is a one, two, three, or four. That one is a one, two, three, or four. That one and that one are both fives, but ah, ah, okay. Look, this row we've got a one and a two in it. This square, therefore, can't be one or two. It must be at least three. Now that means that this and this are part of the same area as that one. So let's colour those in. Uh, so this square must be a two, because otherwise, um, well, it, it has to be a two. If it's a one, that would imply that this square and this square are in different regions, and they are not. It gives us a one there. That one's got to be three or four now. That one's got to be two. Ah, oh, we're away. This puzzle's easy. Um, joke. That was a joke. Um, Well, that can't be four, because if that's a four, that's going to make all of those orange. And now we've got a big problem with the white cells, because either they all have to be orange, in which case we have a 12 cell orange region, or one of them is not orange, and it can never become a nine cell region. So that square is definitely not a four. This is a three, and that means those are orange, look. The one here means that these two are in different colors. So let's make them different colors so that we can remind ourselves of that fact. This has got to be a different color to orange. Ah, now here's some more logic look. If all of these squares were orange, we'd have an 11 cell region. So at least, in fact, at least two of these, therefore, have got to be red. Therefore, that one is definitely red. One of these two might be red or more of them might be red. But even if they were all red, the red would only take seven cells. So that one is also red. Uh, this is cool. But I love puzzles like this where you have to sort of build up the logic. Um, that square is a different colour to that square. So this cannot be, this has got to be a one or a three. It can't be more than that or it would become orange. And we know that this region and this region are different because of this clue. Oh dear. Okay, so what now? Ah, that square now can't be a 3. So it must be at least a 4, and therefore that 9 becomes orange. Now, this square is interesting, look, because this square can't be, be big now, because we've already got five orange squares before we get to this, this clue. So if this clue is a five, we'd obviously have a run of five oranges up there, like that. And that would break the orange region, because it would be of size 10. That square cannot be bigger than four, which does mean, that's very interesting, we've got one, two, three, four, quadruple in this column. That can't be a two or a three. <laughs> because if it is, if we try a two there, it joins to the orange. And the orange already has a two in it. So that is not right. This square can't be two or three. It must be one or four. And it can't be four. It can't be four. What? If it's four, this is all orange. 
and we, it looks like we've done the right thing. We've got a nine cell orange region, but what do I put in that square? I can't put four in there anymore. And when it's a five or more, that square has to turn orange and that creates a 10 cell region. So that square, in fact, I think it's a one, which means it's not orange after all that. So that isn't, that's a different color. We'll make that one, I don't want to use those two, I'll make that yellow. Um, and the one gets rid of ones from up there. The, this arrow now has to be at least, this arrow has to be at least five and it can't be greater than six. There's only six cells that way. So this is five or six. Oh, and we saw this logic the other day in Matthias's puzzle. Beautiful. Rivers and Islands Sudoku. Um, but this... Yeah, this is... So if this is a six, we've, got, we've already got a six cell orange region. So we know this six is not connected to the orange region. So it must be a different color. So all of those squares would be purple. Now, what on earth do we put in that square? You've got to put a six into it because that's how, you know, these are all the same color and we get a repeated color in the row. So we know, in fact, that this has to be a five. Oh, no, I want it to be a five. Five. And it must come to there, that gray. This must be a one. And this is a different color. Now, uh, Not sure what color to make this. Um, I want to use something that's not going to impinge on these two, even though, well, this can't be in the same shape as the one, but it could be in the same shape as the green. Uh, so, and it, but it can't be orange, I guess. There's no way this orange can connect to that orange. So I'm going to use orange. Ah, now we can do more logic here. Look at this red and the orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, can that be, is that a possible arrangement of the grid where this is a region? Well, it's not because this would connect this one to this three. And this three would therefore have to be, well, this, this would become a three and create an 11 cell region. So we actually know that this red region and this one are not in the same region therefore this one has to come out because we it can only have one two three four five six it must come to here but then we don't know it could go up or left or actually both i suppose but that square must that's not a one so that must be orange i'm just going to connect to that So, so now the red region, it could take seven there, eight, nine, that could all be orange, that works. Wow. <laughs> um, 15 minutes in and I've not even looked at some of the grid yet. Right, so let's, let's take another stair. Sorry about this. Um, it is Fistimafel though. This is not going to be a walk in the park. Ah, uh, no, that can't be, that cannot be a three. If this is a three, it forces a four and a two there. And that builds that shape. Now, why is that shape a problem? Well, what on earth do I do with that, that cell? That cell is not purple and it can't be part of a nine cell region. So actually, um, that square is a two. 
Uh, that is not a 2. That connects with that, therefore, and turns that way. Let's make that purple. And this square is a different colour and must come at least to there. Uh, so I've got two, three, four. So these squares have got to be six, seven, and eight. I don't think that tells us anything useful. This square can't be a two. So that square is one, three, four, or five. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. No, this is good. This is good. That can't be a 3. Because if that's a 3, that becomes a 1. And this is a 4 or a 5. But that breaks the 1 clue. Because the 1 clue now would have to include... Well, the 4 or the 5 here would go 1, 2, 3, 4... But the one clue is saying it should end this boundary, and it couldn't. So that that can't be a three. That is a four. That's a three. That's not four, therefore. This must extend one further this way. Ah, and this is this is stopping here. So the eight is isolated unless it turns purple. That can't be a two. Just saw that from that. Oh, that gives us a 1-3 pair here. So that square's got to be grey. If this is a 1-3 pair, this can't be a 1, so that turns grey. Oh, and that's going to limit the red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's almost got to take all of these squares. It must take this one because it can't just have those. That would be a disaster for this square here. So that's red. Mm, not sure about the others. Um, but maybe it has to come to here. Yes, it does. It has to come to there for sure. It's fascinating the way all of these little tiny bits of clue, they interact all around the grid. Um, this blue's got to get out, of course. That's got to come to there. This square here, that's got to be the same colour, whatever colour that is. So I need to pick another colour now. Let's make that grey as well, because that grey can't get to that grey. Right, and that's helpful because that can't now be a 5. Because if this is a 5, it goes all the way across and turns grey. And now it looks fine for the grey region, which is of size 6 here, but it's not fine for the blue region. The blue region can't now join the grey region, because that would make a 10 region, and it can't get out to collect 9 cells. So that it does not work. This is not a 5. <laughs> and it's not a 3. Look at that. It's not three, because if this is three, this is one, and this is three, and look what happens. All of those squares have to be part of the same region. And that's not possible, because we'd have two threes in the region. So, oh, this is lovely. So now, that square's got to be a one. That's got to be a three. That's got to be a one. The, the three means that all turns grey. This is part of a different colour. Let's make that red. This 
That oh that square's got to be grey because you can't isolate one square. Uh, okay. Um, so this blue has to get out. It comes up that way. It's got to continue. Can't quite see how to limit the options there. If This square, look, that can't be a one or a two anymore. Two, and that can't connect to the gray region. So it can't be as many. Can't be as many as one, two. Five. No, so one, two, three, four, five. This has got to be three, four, or five, I think. Although, if it's five, does that isolate this area? Oh no, that could the grey could come up behind it. I don't know. This is guess so complicated. Um, this arrow is that. So this one. Ah, now yes, yes, yes. This square. Now it could be a three, it could be a four, sorry, it could be a four in theory. But look, if it's a four, it becomes orange. And that's a problem because now the orange shape has nine cells in it, but I can't put a four here. So again, this would have to be five and create a 10 cell region. Now, obviously if I put in any number greater than four here, I already break the, the orange region because I'd have five cells apart from whatever I put in column two. So I think that square, oh, hang on, let's get rid of the highlighting. This square has to be a three. Now that, that, what does that mean? Oh, that means that's a one. So this square can only be orange. And now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got the red region. Whoa, this now, hang on a second. Oh, this is very, very nice as well. Look, I was wondering whether this was part of the purple because the purple hasn't got a three in it. But if I try and make all of these the same color, like that, what on earth do I put into that square? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It can't be purple. And this orange, which is the only other option, is too small to get there. Oh my goodness. So this is a different color again. Let's make that one green. That can't be a three anymore. Ah, now that's interesting because that's connecting now to this one. So those ones are the same color. Um, sorry, I'm just getting a bit lost at the amount of stuff I'm trying to keep in my head. So if this does come, 
No, I don't like that. I don't like this being five. I don't think it can be because this orange region cannot join this region. And this orange region is not part of the gray region. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It needs an extra space and it can't join to the gray region at the top because it would become too big. I think that is not possible. I think this is a four. So now, oh, no, this gray region could still warp around the back here. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. So I was looking at, how does the gray region get a one? this gray region, how does that get a one in it? So if this square is gray, if we look at the options for this square, it's either this color, because this color can reach this square, or it's gray. It cannot be blue because of the one here. So if this is gray, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this this sort of highlighted yellow region is now completely is now complete but they but we can't put a one in it because of the ones here here and here so this square cannot be gray and therefore must be orange and the same logic applies to that square but interestingly i don't think it applies to this square because if I have, if I can take two squares from here, if I can go to that square, this could be a one. Oh my goodness, this is complicated. So, in fact, maybe that is a better question. Where does the one go in row one of the grid? Because it can't go in any of those three squares. So does it have, no, it doesn't have to be in the blue region because it could be in the gray region if it's here. And in, if that turns up there, it then has to be in the gray region. It has to be there. This is, oh, this is mind bendingly complicated. I've also, I've got a lot of different colors in this grid now. How many different regions have I got? I've got this region, one. That's not the same as that region, two. It's actually that region, this region here could be gray. So one, two, possibly three. Four is definitely separate. Five is definitely separate. That one could belong to this. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, I've got ten regions. So one, so I have to connect. I have to connect two of these things together. Oh, this, this is breathtakingly brilliant. Is this how you're meant to solve this? by counting 10 regions and working out you have to put two of them together and which ones they can be. Well, I think there are two options then. This red, it can't be part of this region because that's got a one in it already. So the red, which can't connect to the grey region. <laughs> this is mad. The red could connect to the blue region. If the red connects to the blue region, that would get rid of one of my degrees of freedom. But that's not, hang on, that's not possible because then now I can't put a one in row one of the grid. Oh my goodness me, is that, is that true? 
that if I connect this region and this region together, it is no longer it is no longer possible because this three can't come up through here or the one already gets taken. So it must come round the corner and hit that square in order to collapse two of these regions together. And now I can't, because this one is now part of this region, and this one rules out that square, this one rules out that square, this one rules out that square, you cannot put a one in row one of the grid. So if that's right, and you'll have to forgive me if I've missed something there, I mean, it feels right. If that's right, the only two other regions you can connect to each other are these, this region and this region, and that is going to be massive because that creates a nine cell region. I think it's right. I'm going to go for it. That becomes a nine cell region. This cell therefore has to turn orange. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven. That's not a seven. There's a seven in one of those two squares in because the red region needs a seven. So seven is getting quite restricted in, in this orange region over here. And this is only seven, that would be eight. So this square must be orange. We don't yet know about this square. Oh, now hang on, hang on. I still need to put a one I still need to put a 1 in row 1 of the grid. Now, that means this blue can't come upwards, because if it comes upwards, it would have to come up again. And I can't create new regions. Every region that we have coloured here is, this is the sum, sum total of all the regions. So I can't introduce some new shape that's going to come into this gap. And this one already has a one in it. Nothing else can reach it. So this blue cannot come to this square. So it's got to come to this square. And therefore this square is isolated. That turns blue. It must then turn up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It must go up again. It mustn't hit this one. That one's got to come out. Oh, I've broke. I've broken. I've broken it. I'm gonna have to isolate. Oh no, the one can join this. The one can join the purple. Oh my goodness. Um. Or maybe the blue comes. No, the blue can't come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. This. If the blue comes here, this square has to turn into a one. And that breaks row one again. Because if it's a, if it's not a one, we've got more than nine cells in the blue region. So the, the blue region does not come to this square. It comes here. But the one doesn't get isolated because it can get out via the purple. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. So... So I've done the blue region, I've done this re I've not done that region, I've not done this region. This one has to connect to something that is already coloured. It could can it get to the green? Four, five, six, seven. Yes, it can. It can get to the green. It can't get to that one, because that's already got a one in it. But it could also connect to the grey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um Right. Right, come on. What on earth do we do now? This square, what's that square going to be? This square must, this square is a two in fact. It is a two because it can't be a one and it can't connect to the blue region which has already got nine cells. So this square is a, 
well, and it's got to be part of a colour we've already got. One, two, three, there's six, seven, eight. So it's not this grey. It could be this red or it could be this green. So we've got to make that a different colour. Let's make that... Um, oh, I don't know. What's useful here that's not going to get... Maybe grey again? Or yellow. I'll just put it yellow. Because yellow is one that's sort of indeterminate, we'll say that. So this is yellow. And so how do we how do we make the next deduction? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this needs two more cells. This cell, look, that's interesting because that can't have a 5 in it because that would clash with that. So it's got to be less than 5 and it can't be 1 or 3. That is a 2 or a 4. I'm just worrying away at the grid, trying to spot things. That one's a 6. Gosh, I should have seen that before just because obviously we've got six in a line here. Oh, now, hang on, we've not put a three in this purple region. We've not put a three in this purple region. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's yeah, so how are we going to get a 3 in the purple region? Now, one option might have been to come to this square. This could have been a 3, which would have required us to go 1, 2. But now, because this 2 is in the grid, all these 3s would have to be the same. All of these squares would have to be the same colour. And we've got 7 cell region plus a 3 cell region is a 10 cell region. So this is not the 3. This 3 is ruling the roost over these both of those squares. So we've got to get down to this row in order to get the three in the purple region. Unless three rules out that one. I think this square has to be the three. And that therefore means that's purple. This is not three. Which actually we knew it. Actually that can't be a four. That's just me being uh, slack in terms of pencil marking. This could be a two or it could be a one. But if it's a one, it's so a one, it could, have, it could join to the green region maybe. What, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it could. Um, so this purple region is complete now. That's got to be, oh yeah, five, six, and seven to place. That one can't be a six. So the six is in one of those two squares. So the six in the red region is in one of those four squares. Oh, now hang on. Hang on a minute. This, this hasn't got a 1 in it. And hang on, row, column 1 hasn't got a 1 in it. This, ah, this is good, yes. This one rules a 1 out from those squares. This one rules a 1 out from those squares. We know this isn't a 1 because this is orange and it's part of this re region here. So the only square in column 1 that can be a 1 is that square which means it's not green, it can't be purple, it must join to the orange, which is good because I've noticed that the orange hasn't got a one in it. So this, so we've now got eight cells. We've got eight cells in our orange region. So this is a four or a five.
now now this has to be this has to be green because if it's not if this is red the green could only take those cells there so if it, let me show you that by coloring if this is red all of these squares would have to be green and this is only eight cells so that's just not right this must be green But, ah, this is so clever again. Now, is it possible that all 10 of those squares are green? Well, no, because we need them there to be a nine cell region. So how do we interrupt this flow of 10 cells? What color can interrupt it? Well, the only color that can have any impact is orange. So orange must take one of these two cells to break up that 10 region. Therefore, those are green. One of these is green and one of them is orange. This becomes a four because the extension to the orange is vertical. This is a different color and it's not green, ah, but it could be gray. Oh my goodness, this is so difficult. <laughs> this is so difficult. Um, now, does this four matter for anything? Oh, yes, it does. It it really does. Look, we've got four digits here, two, three, four, and nine. So neither of those two squares, look, can now be two, three, four, or nine because they're in the orange region. So where do we put two, three, four, and nine in row eight? Well, it's going to have to be in those only squares that can take them. So they are two, three, four, and nine. That one can't be three or four. The grey re region's now got a 2, 3, 4, 9 quadruple in it. And what's more than that, look, if this is a, it can only be a 2 or a 9, the 3 and the 4 are definitely in those three squares. So this cannot be a 4, this has to be a 2. That means that has got to be the 2. This one can't join to the red and it can't now join to the green. This has to be gray. And we've got seven grays now. Uh, okay. I mean, it's amazing this puzzle. It's amazing and look, it's still I still haven't done half the dump numbers. Ah, so well that square now also has to be red because it can't be green. So that has to change to being a two. And in fact, one, two, yeah, we've got eight in this orange, seven in this gray, one of them has to be used up here but everything else in this sort of eight cell region has to be red so there's no way either of those squares can get up to that level of the grid so they are both red three four nine uh, this has got to be six and eight there's a six up there so that's a six that's an eight That's not a six now. This square's got to be, ah, well, there's a seven there. So it's, it's got to be a five. It can't be, a, it can't be a seven. So the digit that's going up here is a seven. Five. Wow, okay. Um, so, <laughs> um, sorry guys I know this must be frustrating to watch but this is this is not an easy puzzle threes look are locked into one of those squares uh, 
And what else can we do here? I feel like we've got a lot of ones and twos in the grid and quite a lot of threes. So are there any regions that haven't got ones and twos in them? This one hasn't got a two in it. Uh, this one doesn't have a two in it, does it? So where's the... Ah. That, ah, that is interesting. So this one needs a two. The two can't be here. It couldn't be here if this extends this far. It can't be here if it extends to here. So I think this is the only position in this funny cage here that can be a two. And now, have we completed all the twos in the grid? No, I've not put the two in this shape. So it must go here. Oh, this is so terrifying as well when you get a digit like that and you're scanning the grid thinking there's probably another two below it and you've broken the puzzle. But I think that's that's okay. Um, so in this shape here, we've, we, we, we've not placed six and eight. Oh, now that... Ah, that's important. Because if I've not placed six and eight in this square, if we look at the eights here and here, the red shape, its eight must be in one of those squares. Now, therefore, this square can't be a six or an eight because of the pencil marking. So this square has to be orange. And that completes the orange. And now this square must be red. Because it can't be orange, and because of the two here, it can't be grey. Right, okay, well, that's good. It's not good enough, but it's good. It's got to be an eight in one of those two squares because of the eight there. Ah, so, so it's no longer possible for this square to be grey, because if this square is grey, this square would be grey. These would be a 6-8 pair, and the 8s up there prevent that, so this square is red. That means that square is red, because it's isolated. And now we've done 8 squares of this red region, so this square therefore can't be red, that's grey. And we know this is a six or an eight. Okay, so what do we do next? The answer to that is I don't know. <laughs> um, really don't know. Um, this can't be an 8. 6, 7, 2, 4, 5. So maybe I've got to use the geometry of the grid somehow to break this open a bit further. Um, here so in this shape what have we got to place I've got to place a five somewhere in this shape here ah now hang on we can Five. 
Sorry about this. It's getting a bit tricky. This three rules out a three from that square look. But we don't, that's not a sort of central pencil mark, so I can't be certain that that's uh, just going to become an eight. It might not. Ah, now hang on. Hang on a minute. The fours are interesting. This four. Now, if we look at the red shape and ask where four can go, one possibility we might have thought was this square. But if this square is a four, these three squares are two, four, and seven. And therefore, because of the geometry of the grid, we wouldn't have two, four, seven in those three squares. So, sorry, those six squares. We'd need to have two, four, seven in those three squares, which would make this square a four. It can't be a four. So the four in this red region is not here, here, or here. So it's in one of those positions. Now, why does that matter look? Well, if we look along here now, I've got three, four, six, and eight, all pencil marked. So now, I can tidy up some of the pencil markings, but I obviously spotted the implication that those two squares have to be five and nine. I think that's right, so let's put that in. Uh, oh, now hang on, the five here. Where do we put a five in the red block? It can't be there, it can't be in that, that quadruple, so the five must be here. Therefore, that's a five. That square's a nine all of a sudden. That means that one's not a nine. This nine, we can use geometry again, look. We've not yet put a nine into column nine of the grid. And it can't be in any of those squares. And this nine rules out that square. So the nine sits in the top corner there. Nine must be in one of these two squares. Seven up there tells us what the order is. Seven, nine. So these two squares now should be resolvable. These have got to be, is that four and nine into those two positions? There's so many fours in this grid. Surely we can do something with the fours. Um, And the other digit that we've got a lot of actually is threes as well. I should be able to do something more with the threes as well. So let me just have a stare at this for a second and see if we can. So this three here rules this from being a three. So the three in column nine must be in the orange shape. Yeah, that's great because if the three is in one of these positions and in fact it must be in one of ah oh, in fact it must be there now it's not here and look at this row if this is not a three this isn't a three because of the three here where do i put the three in this row it's going to have to be there so that's not a three that's not a th in fact that's that is a three here now this is a four nine pair this is not a three that's not a three. So that's the only position left for a three in the bottom row, look. And maybe we've done, have we done all the threes now? We have done all the threes, but more than that, we have not put a three yet in the red region. So it's got to be this three, hasn't it? That's the only place it can collect a three from that isn't taken. So that becomes it. This must be gray. This is a six or an eight to complete the gray region. Oh, please let me be about to finish this. Um, those two squares have got to be four and five, I think. Can't believe it. That's not resolved. Uh, Ah, 
are. Now here we can do some more logic. So the four in the red region is in one of those six positions. The four in the gray region is in one of those two positions. Therefore, that's all the fours we're ever gonna find in columns, whatever that is, uh, six and seven. This square can't be a four. I think that's got to be a six. Oops, that's an eight, six, seven pair. Um, and more to the point, look at this region up here. If there's no four in it, that must be the four. That's a five. Might be about to be get interrupted. Hang on a second. That was a sec. Sorry, there was a walkie-talkie emergency, so I had to deal with that. Now, what was I? What were we doing? Oh, we just got this five. Now. I've not, well, I've not put a one in the green region yet, so that, where can I put a one in the green region? It can't go there, there, it's, it's locked into that square. That's probably, I've got so many ones. Ah, no, I've not placed the one look in this, in the blue region either. Where does the, we know it must be in the top row from the work we did earlier on. Um, so I think it's got to go here. And that is presumably the last one in the grid. Yes, it is. So we've done ones. We've done, have we done twos? I think we've done twos. We've done threes. Yes. We've not done fours, but we have got a lot of fours. And in fact, this shape doesn't, yes, this shape doesn't have its four yet. And there's a four here ruling out those two, and this four ruling out that one. So this square is a four. That fixes a four over there, gives us a nine. So the four in this region now must be here, I think. Let's just double check that. That looks good to me, four, four, nine. I make a mistake now I'm going to be so so cross with myself this square's got to be a six or an eight uh, this column look we still haven't disambiguated what color this is those two squares are seven and eight in some order five seven and eight into those squares uh, that one can't be eight though uh, so the eight in one of those two positions that one can't be a five either. And that one can't be an eight. That's that's fairly nasty, that look, but look, if that's an eight, that square becomes a seven, that square becomes a, a six, so, so that one becomes a seven, and we can't put anything in this square. So that does not work. This one is not eight, and therefore the one above it is eight. Now, is that helpful? I mean, frankly, everything is helpful at this point. That's got to be six or seven now. Uh, oh, seven, seven down here, that's a six. Therefore, that's a six, that's a seven. Come on, this is a five or a seven. These two squares have got to be five and eight now. If these are five and eight, this becomes a six. That fixes the six and the eight. Oh my goodness. Um, five, oh, that one, that one is seven or eight because of the five here. Oh, hang on, what did I do there? I wanted to put pencil marks in. Five, seven, or eight. Five. So the five here, that becomes seven or eight. This one has to be five, seven, or eight. So again, there's an eight in one of those two positions.
Oh, we've yeah, we've got the same, we've got the same trick again. <laughs> so it's the same trick again. Look at this. That can't be the eight because what happens if it is? We get this seven six thing going on, and that one can't be a seven again. This is unbelievable. I mean, that's not that easy at this stage of a puzzle. This is an eight, therefore. Uh, oh, it's not actually resolved anything anyway, has it? Uh, seven, eight, five, seven. Um, this square's got to be a six or a seven, I think, to complete this row. Oh, nine, look, nine in the red area is fixable. That must be here. So we need five, seven, and eight along here. This is a five or a seven. This is five, seven, or eight. Um, That, that, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Now look, this row, this can only be five or eight. So the seven is in one of those positions. This square therefore can't be a seven and has to be a six. That resolves a six, seven pair there. The seven is definitely green. So that must be eight. This must be seven and that's per that's it. Look, now I've disambiguated. This is the seven I need to complete the orange. My goodness, um, the seven here fixes this one. Please, please be right. Seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, seven. And if I haven't made a mistake, eight. It looks okay. It does look okay. What a puzzle. An hour, an hour and two minutes. Check. Yes, I think it's right. I think it's right. I did it. Um, Guys, thank you very much for bearing with me. I wasn't very quick, but that was very hard indeed. Um, now, oh, I'm delighted with that. And um, uh, yeah, see you later on on Cracking the Cryptic.